All right, well, I thought I'd try out the, the microphone today. It's not windy, but I thought I'd try out the microphone anyway on the stabilizer. <clears throat> has a little problem. Not bad, just has a little problem with uh, the wire that sticks out. Kind of puts the stabilizer off balance just a little bit, so. It's just a matter of hanging under the wire between my fingers. And, you know, it's just minor adjustments. Everything's fine. So, a couple of people said it sounds really good. And that's what I was interested in, was the sound. <laughs> I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, but I'm not going to be able to sneak up on anybody, am I? It's pretty bad. <laughs> So I haven't seen any animals. Uh, I saw a caterpillar a while ago. Got a little video of that. Looked like he was drunk or something, I don't know. <laughs> Been hanging out with the aliens, probably. So I thought I saw some movement over here last night, uh, just before the sun went down, and uh, I didn't see anything after that. So. Probably a, a deer or an elk or something. Now the fire, now the question was asked earlier this morning about uh, the fire, how close I was to it. Um, it's pretty far away from uh, my current location. It was about eight miles north of uh, of Payson, so I'm about 30 miles or so away from it. So you know, we're looking at 40 miles away. So I'm not in any danger. Unless something starts up up here, up, you know, in a complete different forest. So that was over in the Coconino. That would be on the west side of the rim. There was one a little bit north of here, like just right over there. I know that you can't tell north, south, east, or west from, you know, from here from the camera, but that would be a little bit north of here. I saw the smoke, and then uh, shortly after that, I saw a couple of uh, uh, air tankers, helicopter type, heading over that way, so they were, looked like they had their bags on, they were full of water. Hot shots were right on top of it. So they had it out and cold, no time flat which was a good thing. Let's go out here on this road a little bit. I saw something shiny back there a while ago. I can bet you, I bet you know what that is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk up there. Looks like we got some alien campings up there. Yeah, you can't. I can see it, but the camera can't see. It's too far away. And he's hid pretty good in there, though. Trying to keep the sun out of the lens. Now, I'm sure you can't see it. It's too far back in there. Yeah. 
and then walk up the road a little. Walk down the road, up the road, whatever. A few aliens came in last night on their four-wheel drive things, or their little, I guess we're called, they're called ATVs, I like to call them little uh, alien transportation devices. Now look, they left their calling card. <laughs> oh well. Let me get rid of that. That's the reason we got a lot to call them aliens because they just uh, they don't care about nothing. <laughs> so when I went into town the other day, I, uh, I got a brainstorm and boy did it hurt. Uh, it's been pretty warm in the camper, so. It's summertime in the mountains, that's for sure. So, I bought a little table, a little folding chair, thinking, you know, when it gets too warm in the in a camper, I could bring uh, Lily out and uh, let her hang out here, and uh, I could sit out here and bring the laptop, or the laptop, not the laptop, wasn't that a haircut one time or another? Well, well anyway. Uh, so that didn't work. It was actually about five degrees cooler in the, in a screened-in porch than it was in the camper. So uh, <laughs> we can sit out here in the evenings then and, and uh, that sort of stuff. I wonder if it w wouldn't be cooler if I just take the screen off and just leave it top on it yeah I need to screen for the bugs flies and bees and all that stuff here's the hermit's chair sitting there as somebody coined the phrase hey guy where you going He's not doing too well. Looks like he found somebody still up here, I think. <laughs> 